All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of six minus x to the power of three is equal to two. So to solve this, I'm gonna first go ahead and subtract two on both sides. So now I have x to the power of six minus x to the power of three minus two is equal to zero. Now, x to the power of six here, I'm gonna write as x to the power of three times two. And if I have something, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of three times two here, I'm gonna write as x to the power of three to the power of two. So I have this minus x to the power of three minus two is equal to zero. And now I'm going to let x to the power of three equal to the variable y. So now I have y squared minus y minus two is equal to zero. Now we have a simple quadratic equation here. So to solve this, I'm gonna write negative y here as negative two y plus y. So now if I, I'm gonna factor by grouping. So if I factor out y from y squared minus two y and factor out one from y minus two because one is the greatest common factor of y and negative two. So first off, factor out y, so I have y times y minus two plus one times y minus two is equal to zero. So now if I factor out y minus two from here, I get y minus two times y plus one is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus two is equal to zero and I have y plus one is equal to zero. So for y minus two equals zero, y is simply equal to two and for y plus one equals zero, y is equal to negative one. Now, recall how we let x to the power of 3 equal to y. So if x to the power of 3 is equal to y, and we have two values of y, well, let's first start with y equals 2. So x to the power of 3 equals 2. I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. Cube root of x to the power of 3 is x, and so we have x to the power, or sorry, x is equal to cube root of 2. Now, for negative 1, I have x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. Cube root of x to the power of 3 again is x, and the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. So my two solutions for this are the cube root of 2 and negative 1. So now to check, I'm going to plug these two in. So first, the cube root of 2 So the cube root of two to the power of three, that's simply equal to negative two. And the cube root of two to the power of six is four. So I have four minus two equals two and two equals two. So this is right. And negative one, I have negative one to the power of six, which is one minus negative one to the power of three is negative one. One minus negative one is two. So I have two equals two. So both solutions are right. All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x minus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting nine here as three squared. So now I have three squared to the power of x minus three to the power of x is equal to 12. Now I'm going to let or sorry, I'm gonna rewrite three to the power of two to the power of x as three to the power of x to the power of two. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So now I'm going to let three to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute in y in for three to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 12. Now I'm going to subtract 12 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get y squared minus y minus 12 is equal to zero. So to factor this, we have to find out which two numbers multiply to get negative 12. So a times b is equal to negative 12 and they add to get negative one. So a plus b 
is equal to negative 1. Well, negative 4 and 3 work out because negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So now I have y squared minus 4y plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y from y squared minus 4y, I get y times y minus 4 plus the greatest common factor of 3y minus 12 is 3, so I get 3 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out y minus 4. So I get y minus 4 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have y minus 4 is equal to 0, and I have y plus 3 is equal to 0. So for y minus 4 equals 0, I get y is equal to 4. And for y plus 3 equals 0, I get y is equal to negative 3. So remember how we let 3 to the power of x equal y. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 4, and 3 to the power of x is equal to negative 3. Well, 3 to the power of x equals 4. To solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So then I get x times log 3 is equal to log 4, meaning x is equal to log 4 over log 3. Now, for 3 to the power of x equals negative 3, you can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative, so there's no solution for this, and my only solution is log 4 over log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 5 to the power of, oops, sorry, 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. 1 plus 1 is 2, so I have 5 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7. Now I can divide both sides by 2. So I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is, I can actually move my x to b here to the front, so I get b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I get x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 7 over 2, that's going to equal log 7 minus log 2. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 7 minus log 2 over log 5. So log of 7 here, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. And finally, log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I'm going to have x is equal to log 7 minus log 2, so 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010 all over 0 0.6990, meaning x is equal to 0 0.5441. 